I've been in Krabby for quite some time now and today is a jam-packed day filled with adventures. In case you haven't been following my vlogs, wow, how dare you? I'm just kidding. But I met Angela in my travels and today another German joins us in our adventures, Sarah. Also, while training at PJ Muay Thai, I met Phil through Padad, the owner of the gym, and they've invited me to Phil's first Muay Thai fight ever. So a lot happening in this vlog, so be sure to stay tuned and let's get this day going. about 5 15 a.m. right now and today is gonna be man today's gonna be a hectic day because at the moment I'm waiting for Sarah and Angela we're gonna be going to the Tiger Temple to do the sunrise and then after that we're going to the four islands it's uh, it's a tour here in in Krabi and uh, we're gonna be doing that and then after that I'm gonna head back here and then I have Phil's Muay Thai fight tonight, which I'll be joining him in his first bout ever. I'm excited. Phil, I met him training at PJ Muay Thai, and I was just invited out to 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 watch a Muay Thai fight today. And so yeah, today is gonna be today's gonna be great. Today's gonna be great. But uh, yeah, right now it's 5:15 in the morning, and uh, we're supposed these two girls are supposed to be here now but they're not even here yet so uh, I don't know what the situation is but yeah that is the plan for today and uh, I am I'm still it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good good day the girls finally got up and of course before we adventure for the day we grabbed some toasties for breakfast at 7-eleven Very aggressive. <laughs> Starting off with steps at 6.15 a.m. There's apparently 1,400 something steps. And that was the 200. I can't even see. 260 seconds. Sarah, I'll do a proper introduction later. But she's joined us, and uh, you already know this one, so <laughs> let's keep going. Look oh, at this dog. All right, let's go, buddy. There's a, there's a lot of dogs here. I don't even know what I'm saying, to be honest. I'm gonna catch my breath. Oh, look at this view. Damn. The steep and what seemed to be endless steps first thing in the morning was grueling, but we were getting closer to the top. 999th step. And uh, we're more than halfway there, at least. Thousands, stuff. The girls are somewhere back there. I'm just gonna keep going and see them at the top. So, there's actually 1,280 steps. I made the mistake earlier of thinking it was over 1,400. Nonetheless, we're done. And homie came to you. Congratulate us and welcome us. But I'm the first one here. Look at this view. Damn. Oh, let me catch my breath. Ooh. Basically, we have a view of the limestone peaks. And it looks like they have a pagoda down there. But it's still being built. But you have this lush greenery in front of you. Definitely miss the sunrise, but it is what it is, you know? It's gorgeous here. So we made it to the top. It took about, I think, 30 minutes or so yeah. to get here. 1,200 steps. I thought it was 1,400. Look at Angela. She's here. And then we have <laughs> this one now. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Uh, we met her, well, I met her yesterday, but uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Sarah from Sarah. Germany. Yeah. That's Back all? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah is the funniest German I've met. Oh, thank you uh, so Next much. to Angela, of course. But I've only met three Germans on this trip, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's like mean? not even a compliment. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're at a temple. Of course, yeah. Angela and I are wearing pants, you know, respectfully. And then... There's this one. <laughs> no, no, she was wearing pants earlier, but... Um, it got too hot, I think. <sighs> um, but today's a busy day because we're doing this and then we're doing the four island tour. That Sarah's gonna be joining us. She looks very uncomfortable. I love it. I'm just gonna do yeah. it. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but but Sarah's so funny. Last night, I don't know. I felt like I've known her for so long, just because like we kept laughing and like we vibed on a joke. She said like she feels the same way, but like our like it was just so funny yesterday. But nonetheless, that's the plan for today. The Tiger Cave Temple dates back to 1975 and it is believed that there was a tiger that lived in the cave, hence the name. It is considered to be one of the holiest Buddhist sites in all of Krabi. To get to the top, you're going to have to get through 1,260 steps, but it is well worth it. After soaking in the views at the top, we decided to head down. Are you okay? <laughs> I guess so. Like I'm not built for this. I'm not built for this. <laughs> we were pressed for time as we had to get back to Ao Nang, return our scooters, and catch our pickup for the Four Islands tour. Starting off this tour, we uh, had to sign up and then pay for the national park fee of 200 baht which is roughly around 8 Canadian dollars. There are many activities to do in Krabi but if you must do one I highly recommend the Four Islands tour. A tour showcasing the best and dreamiest islands in Krabi. The Four Islands are Franang Beach located on the Rayleigh Peninsula, Kopoda, Top Island and Chicken Island. This is a full day tour which typically includes a pickup from your accommodation and back. Food and water is also included in the majority of the tour. The tour usually starts at 8 a.m. till 3 or 4 p.m. A day filled with island hopping, snorkeling, beautiful islands and delicious food. Our first stop in the tour is Rayleigh. Ten minutes into Rayleigh, all we've done is get coffees. That's it pretty much. And we have about 40-ish so minutes. We've been there for half an hour. Like we need to be back in 20 minutes. Yeah. We need to be back in 20 minutes. Okay, the reason why it took so long is because people were trying to get off the boat. It took forever. People were trying to take photos getting off the ladder. And also just like people were just very slow getting off. And yeah, nonetheless though, this is Rayleigh Beach. This is the very famous spot. And uh, it's really packed right now. You know? That's what it is. It felt like a one minute stop in Rayleigh because it was that quick. Nonetheless, we hopped back on the long tail boat to continue on with the rest of the tour. The views from the boat was also stunning seeing the limestone cliffs one after the other. We got green curry, uh, sweet and sour chicken, rice, and then tofu. Voss, what is so funny? And Angela's having vegetarian. Uh, green curry with tofu. And um, this tour so far, I think it's very quick, right? Mm -hmm. Very quick. We went to, what island was the second one? No. No, this is chicken. No, this is not no, chicken. No, this chicken was over there. <laughs> I'm wrong. But like the second island, we it literally felt like we were there for only like 10 minutes and then we had to go. But um, what island is this right now? Poda Island. This is Poda Island. This is the last island. It's the fourth island. And um, we're just having lunch. It's gorgeous. We got a lot of boats and tourists here. Right, Sarah? How do you feel about tourists? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because like when the camera is off, Sarah is like this completely different character. But for some reason, when the camera is on, she's like well behaved. You know what I mean? I'm camera shy. As we 
we finished the island tour, we headed back to Aonai and I had to go to PJ Muay Thai to meet with Pada and the rest of the crew to watch Phil's first ever Muay Thai fight. Tonight we're going to be watching Phil fight and uh, Pada is going to be taking us to, to the gym. It starts at 8.30? 8.30? What? The fight? Hey, uh... Uh, 9, 9 p.m. 9, 9 p.m. But we yeah, gotta be here by 8.30. Hey. What is up, Phil? What's up? How are you, bro? Oh, Ahoy, Phil. Stadium. There's a lot of people here. Phil is trying to get in the zone. He told me earlier, he's like, if I don't talk to you, bro, that means I'm in the zone. So, this fight starts in about half an hour. And uh, I'm stoked to see my first Muay Thai fight. He's got a little entourage here, which is really nice. You know what I mean? In case you didn't know, Muay Thai is the national sport here. Thai people live and breathe this traditional martial art, a form of unarmed combat that is accompanied by a traditional music as the fight takes place. Muay Thai is known as the art of eight limbs that dates all the way back to the 13th century during the Sukhothai kingdom, rooted from the military use around that time. It uses the eight points of contact, punches, kicks, elbows, and knees. After Phil's win, I decided to hang back with a couple of guys to watch the remainder of the Muay Thai Fight Night event. I just got back to my place and right now I'm just gonna go to 
bed because tomorrow we are waking up really early again to check out this lagoon. I believe it's called Emerald Pool, but overall my first Muay Thai fight experience was amazing. Shout out to Phil, congratulations on your first win. I'm gonna end this vlog right here, so you already know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>